why, but while I was out, while I was out, I, I know we don't talk about this particularly really often, but I think I've mentioned it a couple of times. Uh, I'm definitely afraid of men. Definitely. I can like fake normalcy. And logically, I know like the vast majority of human beings are harmless, if not helpful, but it's just something I never got over. Um, and today was a reminder why. Because while I was on the way back to my old apartment, I shit you not, I shit you not, I don't hate men. I am definitely, definitely terrified of them. Um, I shit you not, every block I walk by, like each block, each block, like, like imagine a 10 block walk, a 10 block walk, and down these 10 blocks, every single one, some guy would get way too close to me and like graze my shoulder or leg or step on like the heel of my like shoes or something. And like, if I live somewhere busy, I don't know, New York, something, Connecticut even, uh, you know, something like that would make sense right but this is like total su suburbia i'm walking in right like i'm walking in the middle of a fucking road like in the middle of a sidewalk there is no reason i'm not even middle i i i walk on the inside of a sidewalk there's no reason anyone needs to be that close to me I, and, and, and like i didn't even get groped i didn't even get groped or anything i i just they just kept stepping on my shoes or, or bumping my shoulder or like elbowing me in, elbowing me in the, in the rib cage um but yeah but yeah, it was terrifying and shocking every single time that happened. So this got me like super round wound up and I'm essentially like sitting on the bus clutching my fucking pearls. I don't have pearls, but clutching my metaphorical pearls because I don't trust the people around me. Like you can't even pickpocket me because I'm a girl and my pants don't have pockets. Okay, so yeah, I'm never going out again. I'm never going out in public again unless I have a big ass dog or ember with me. Yeah, both things fulfill the same purpose. We're like enforcers, good at keeping strangers away. Yeah. <laughs> Your area has a serious problem. Yeah, apparently, apparently minding your personal space is a serious issue for for all the residents of Canada. For all the we residents of Western Canada. But yeah, it was um, a terrifying, terrifying experience. <laughs> Is this what Canadians actually are? I mean, I suppose, like, we're supposed to apologize for stepping on me. But, but they didn't. Which, to be honest, like, if I'm going to be real, I kind of prefer that they didn't. I kind of, I think after all that, had someone tried speaking to me, I might have had a mental breakdown. I might have just collapsed on the street. Anyways, Morbus! Maybe you live in an alternate Canada? Maybe. I've met Canadians, but they don't all apologize. It really depends what uh, part of Canada you're in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Piss Bandit, thank you for our $5. Wait, so you're definitely afraid of men. Does that mean that Sakuna is truly best girl? He, yo, he is so baby girl code. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about the on stream. <sighs> but, um... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like, what's a, like, I, like, I'm comfortable with family, right? I'm comfortable with family and I'm comfortable with, like, my friend's boyfriend. So it, it's, it's like the same thing. Uh, secret pinky for two dollars. Some more streams since no more outside. Maybe, maybe. Citrus so pinky for a super chat for the screen fun pretend and you're seeing a man. Okay. Let me get in the scene. Let me get in the scene. Okay. I'm walking. I'm walking. Okay. I'm clutching my pearls. I'm clutching my pearls. Okay. I have, I have my phone in my hand there's a lot of yaoi on it i am about halfway for my yaoi <laughs> method acting <laughs> Ah, that's the stuff. what was that what was that a non-verbal shriek okay a semi-verbal shriek you can hear part of it Yep! Yep, was that a dodge? Yep! No! No! Did that sound like a chihuahua? That did not sound like a chihuahua! <sighs> Alyssa, thank you for super chat. Yaoi is a way to absolve your fears. That's true. The power of Yaoi compels you! The power of Yaoi... <laughs> Yaoi compels you! She squeaked. She did not sound like Tenma? Exactly! Exactly! I didn't sound anything like the Tenma. I didn't sound anything like the Tenma. Space guy, right? Thank you for ten dollars. Does that save buy pepper spray? But I think you just spray yourself in panic. There's pepper spray with paint, so you can tag the person. You can even pick the color. I think that it's legal here. I used to carry around a bag of sand. I used to carry around a bag of sand. I also used to carry around lactate pills because all of my friends are like lactose intolerant. But the unfortunate 
thing about that is they, when you go into Walmart, right, they put the generic brand of lactate next to the generic brand of x lax And the packaging is very, very similar. And so I don't really care around lactate anymore. Let's just say there are some cafes that we'll never be going back to. Anyways! My fellow brothers, in the face of our common dangers in this winter of our hardship, remember these timeless words, as we can. 